Hello Pisces, I'm here to do a check in with you guys and see what's going on. All right, let's see. Let's take a look and see what the potential main energies are for you guys in this current space and time. Pisces, Pisces. I was hearing self-care, so um, some of you Pisces are maybe focused on self-care, or you're needing to do some self-care activities. Okay, Pisces. Envy, okay, so Pisces, um, you could be dealing with people who envy you, or, okay, maybe you envy someone. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Placements, okay, um, Pisces, Stellium, whatever. All right. Holding on to pain, past. So somebody is holding on to pain, holding on to the past. You very well could be holding on to the pain in the past. I was hearing somebody could be throwing up your past, you know, maybe putting your past in your face, and so it's creating pain. Maybe you're doing this to someone, okay? You're holding on to the pain in the past. You're throwing it up there, okay? Um, throwing it up in somebody's face. Take it as it resonates, okay? It's not going to be for all Pisces. Um, what else do I see here? I don't want no scrub. So, Pisces, you don't want no scrub. You don't want to deal with somebody who doesn't have their own, who's not serious. Um, you don't want your time to be wasted, okay? Or somebody could see you as maybe being a scrub. Who knows? Okay, take it as a resonance. All right. Watching you or them. So, somebody is watching you or you're watching someone, Pisces. Loyal. Okay, so somebody sees you as loyal or maybe um, you want somebody to be loyal. You, maybe you want to attract somebody who's loyal. And then we have stressed out. So somebody is stressed the fuck out. Okay. And they stress out, you know, maybe because, I don't know, maybe because you're leveling up. Who knows, Pisces? Who knows? All right, let's take a look at the tarot, Pisces. Let's see, what's the energy surrounding Pisces in, in this current space and time, Pisces? Pisces, Pisces. I don't know, I was hearing a mama's boy. All right, so we got temperance. We got 10 of wands here. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your, your chart. This is Saturn and Sagittarius here. So somebody, uh, a Sagittarius could be applying some pressure here. You could be a Sagittarius applying some pressure, okay? If you're not applying the pressure, this is a pressure coming onto you. So um, like you're, you're feeling this. So Saturn is uh, the restriction, pessimism, structure, all right? I'm, I'm hearing through the fire. So some of you are going through a challenging time, but this is actually uh, meant to strengthen you at this time, okay? Because I feel like for some of you, you're wanting this type, you're wanting some type of balance, some type of... I, I want to say order, but not really. It's not heavy on the order. You're just wanting some type of balance. You're wanting to blend things. This is alchemical energy. And I feel like for some of you, you're trying to attain this. And it's it's a struggle here. It's a struggle. All right. I was hearing you're not out of the woods yet. There's some type of struggle here, Pisces, that I see here. And Saturn, you know, when Saturn's here, you know, Saturn is the planet of discipline as well, okay? And it's also the punisher. So it depends on which spectrum you're on, okay, or what side of Saturn you're on here. But for some of you, I do see this as, you know, some type of structure, like you're needing to get some things in line before you can have this balance, before these energies can be blended here, okay? Or you are actively blending these energies and it's a lot of fucking work here okay i do see the load lightening up here for some of you uh i was hearing you have everything on your shoulders here i was hearing you're trying to get something off the ground you're weighed down what is pisces weighed down by with the ten of uh wands 
what is Pisces weighed down by? Pisces weighed down by the Four of Swords here. So lack of sleep, lack of rest. This is the Lord of Rest. Four of Swords is Jupiter and Libra energy here. So... Um, uh, no help. Okay, I was hearing there's people who are not helping you. You feel like there's people that are not really helping you. They're kind of in an energy of dormancy. I was hearing laying dormant. So it could be that people are not trying to help you or you you have a lack of sleep. Like you're putting, I don't know. It's just the energy of putting a lot of work in and you're not getting sleep here. Mm, that's for some of you. Oh, yeah. Somebody can be complacent as hell. Okay. They allow their circumstance, their mind, situations. Because Saturn, you know, sometimes Saturn can be a little dark. So it can talk about dark energy sometimes. So some of you could be weighed down by dark energy, suppressed, and then you just kind of fucking lay there. And it's like you need to get up. You know, you need to fight and not fight physically to hurt anybody, but just fight for yourself. Okay. It's like an energy of that. So I do see that as well. But some of you do need some sleep here, okay? Um, this is very heavy energy. So something feeling very heavy in your sleep here. I don't know why I was hearing passing in your sleep. I'm not saying this for you, Pisces. You maybe known somebody who maybe had passed in their sleep or something like that. Not to be dark. I'm not trying to be dark, but this is a part of life. Nobody lives forever. But I do see that here. I was hearing sir coming, sir coming. Okay. What else is going on for Pisces? So with Pisces, it's running Pisces, what's happening? I was hearing recovery, rest. Okay. Um, the Ten of Wands can just talk about just heavy energy, just pressing you down. You don't feel free. And I just feel like some of you need, need are needing to go to rehab or some type of recovery or re rehabilitation for something okay we have knight of cups so this could be you because you know knight of cups is mutable energy it's pisces so um i was hearing i'm feeling it so you're in your feelings right now pisces i feel you're in your feelings you're feeling so much you're just kind of moving with the notions moving with the motions here you know all right. And some of you, you're kind of wandering. You don't have, um, you don't know where, I was hearing uncharted waters. You don't know where you're at, but you're still going. Okay. You're going and you just, it's definitely an energy of not knowing where you're at or where you're going or just being in unfamiliar waters. Okay. There's definitely a Neptunian energy here. So it's like Im Im it's imagination, dreams, delusions. That's Neptune. So I do feel it could be in a dream state maybe. All right. It's just, it's a weird energy. Holy cow. It's Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a two of wands. So some of you are definitely um, trying to establish control okay maybe over your emotions maybe over a situation i was hearing i have the key so some of you are on a journey here you're trying to follow your heart's desires or you've been following your heart's desires and you're just trying to keep things under control here this is mars and aries energy mars is the planet of action desire and aggression so it's like you're navigating you're you're moving through the charted charted uh, familiar, uh, familiar and uncharted waters. You're just moving through. You're trying to um, just establish some type of um, control over your domain. Okay, maybe over your life or your situation. I, for some of you, I do see over others here, which is crazy. Maybe somebody's trying to do this to you. Maybe trying to control you in some type of way or fence you in in some type of way. All right, what else is going on with Pisces? What is going on? What is happening? Pisces, Pisces. Get four more cards for Pisces. Random Pisces. We have three of pentacles or three of coins. Judgment. Did I say three or four? I'm going to do four more cards. I don't know if I said three or, but anyways, 
Wow, we have the death card here. I did say that I did see somebody like it's like an energy passing in their sleep or something. Okay, not to be dense. That's what I see here. Um, death can also talk about transformation, something changing, you know, um, like very fast. Okay, so we have the three of pentacles here. Three of pentacles. Mars and Capricorn. So some of you are definitely just focusing on work, focusing on the task at hand. There's something you're trying to put together. I see I, I see here. I, um, also, Pisces, I see you looking at bills like, you know, you have bills in like both hands, like, you know, pretend like these are two bills. Like you're looking at this and comparing, you know, some of you are doing something like that. OK. Um, this is the Lord of Material Working, so I see that you're trying to get something off the off the ground, or this is something that's already materialized, and you're trying to perfect it. You're trying to, you're adding, you're removing, you're you're putting in the work to make it functioning. Whatever this work is, whatever you're focusing on, you're trying to make it like functioning or better. Like I was hearing improvements. Then we have judgment here. So maybe you're being overly critical of yourself, maybe um, overly critical when it comes to a situation, a person, for some of you, it could be a child being overly critical. All right. I was hearing you need to see where, where this child's coming from, this person's coming from. All right. Maybe you want somebody to see where you're coming from with the judgment. Um, this is something resurfacing. All right. What is this judgment? What is this judgment? It's in between the three of coins and the page of cups. So some of you are working on yourself. This is encouragement for you to work on yourself. I was hearing ripping off the band-aid. So some of you are... I don't know. Some of you could have maybe gone through life just bandaging wounds and the wounds could be representations of like uh, emotional wound, uh, wounds, physical, I don't know, mental wounds, whatever. And it's like you need to rip the bandaid off and address the shit, whatever it is. You need to put the work in and address your inner child, address, you know, your emotions here. There's something you need to address because it keeps coming up here. All right. The judgment is the yeah empress. And this is wounds surrounding maybe a mother. Maybe a mother is judging you. This is Venus. So Venus, um, it's Libra. It's Taurus. Okay. Because uh, Venus rules Libra and Taurus. So it could be a mother. Wounds surrounding a mother. Judgment here. Um, there could be a focus on a mother. Yeah. That's, that's tough. I do know a Pisces mother, um, whose mother's pa had passed away. Um, as well. But if that's not the case, um, I do see this as healing some wounds surrounding a mother. I also feel like this is spirit as well because there's an angel here. There's a message coming from the empress, a mother figure or someone. This could be also an empress, a Libra, Taurus, individual, a person that's very nurturing that's coming back into your life, Pisces. This can also be, I was hearing, show up for yourself. Maybe you're needing to be this empress for yourself. Nurture yourself, love yourself. Okay, but this is an energy of uh, like a mother figure here. Okay, if it's not a phys your actual mother, it's like someone coming back into your life. But I kept hearing show up for yourself. And I was hearing also judgment. So there could be somebody who's overly critical of your work and how you're living your life and what you're doing. You're just things like that. And it makes you feel like a child and you're like, I'm not a fucking kid anymore. Like, stop. <laughs> All right, it's like an energy of that that I'm getting. If it's not a mother figure, it could be people that are trying to mother you in some type of way or tell you something. Somebody could very well have good intentions and they're maybe trying to look out for you. But for some of you, it's like it kind of brings up triggers like I'm not a kid. All right, okay, what is this page of cups giving? This is like an apology. This could also be like somebody wanted to apologize, offer something to you, Pisces. Maybe you're wanting to offer something to, to someone, okay? 
Maybe you're trying to re resurrect yourself. Somebody's trying to re resurrect themselves, okay, in a positive way. They maybe want to be more nurturing instead of judgmental. Uh, this is like a shedding of old skin. Somebody is shedding old skin. They're like renewing themselves. Like a part of them has passed, died, okay, fell away. This is maybe encouragement to allow this to fall away. I was hearing you're not a child anymore. Okay, you're not a kid anymore. So it's time to adult. Some of you, you know, looking at this Knight of Cups, it's like you're in uncharted waters, okay? And maybe you're needing to find your stake. You're needing to find your domain, find your path, you know, create, I don't know, this new beginning for yourself, this sense of security, all right? The key is here with the two of wands. The key is here. So the key is in your hand. Okay. What is this page of cups? What is this page of cups offering? What is this page of cups offering or giving? What is happening here? Page of cups is the four of coins. So somebody is wanting to offer security to you, stability. This is the Lord of material powers here. Somebody may try to possess you. Okay. They may come back at you or they're trying come come back into your life to try to possess, to try to control possibly. That's not for all of you. This is um Sun and Capricorn here. So it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but maybe somebody um, is trying to possess you in a way. If that's not the case, somebody wants to hold on to you. They want to keep you. I was hearing keepsake. They want to hold on to you. I was hearing you belong to me. So it very well could be like a, a mother. <laughs> a mother figure or anything they just kind of want to like i don't know hold on this is this is another number four here with a death card four four of coins so fourth house it's cancer so you can be done with the cancer it's your home family where you come from okay your internal world um some of you are needed to have more security like i don't know it's like an energy of feeling like like your inner child doesn't feel safe. Like you don't feel safe in some type of way. I was hearing like, I don't know. It's like, a, it's just the energy of being out. I was hearing like a fresh fish out of the pond. Like, I don't know. I just feels it, it kind of feels like orphan energy here a little bit. Kind of like, what do I do? Like, I'm out here. Where's my mom? Where's my dad? Where's my sense of security? So there's like a, a sense of insecurity here I'm seeing here. I was hearing like, it's okay. The Empress was saying, it's okay. Like, you're not alone. It's okay. All right. What's the death? What is this death giving? What is this death? What is going on? Oh, my gosh. The death is the wheel. So there are some major changes. This is Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of expansion, optimism, and abundance. And then we have Scorpio. So definitely some changes when it came to um, maybe I was hearing like your fate. If it's not your fate, it's somebody's fate or something in your life here. Um, Scorpio, eighth house, it's sex, death, joint finances, taxes here. So something has definitely changed. It has changed it to a, a new form. On the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of coins. So it could have been when there, it was like an ending where there was a death. There was like a new beginning. There was some, a sense of expansion. There was a sense of maybe even abundance here um, after this death, after this transformation. I was hearing I grew up here. Okay. But uh, queen of coins. All right, it starts in your mind here. This is uh, security. This is stability as well. All right. Wow. What's going on? This is kind of deep here. Kind of deep. All right, my fishies. Pisces, my fishies. Okay, let's hear from the mermaids. What does the mermaids want you to know at this time? What message do the mermaids have for you, Pisces? My little fishies. Pisces, Pisces. Uh, the will also is Jupiter. Jupiter rules Pisces traditionally. So this is changes, expansion. Also, uh, Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So you could have Sagittarius in your chart. Yeah, something happened suddenly. It was like a sudden change here. What's the lesson? The lesson is faith here. 
So your lesson with this death and the uh, Wheel of Fortune is the faith here, which is tradition is the Hierophant. So you, this happens in order to strengthen your faith. This is testing your faith. Recognition. So Pisces, you're getting some recognition. You may want recognition, friendship, okay? You're wanting meaningful friendships or you have this these friendships. Look at abundance showing up for you, Pisces. This is beautiful. So the mermaids want you to know that you're going to be getting some recognition, all right? Or you're needing to show yourself more love. Take a look at how far you have come. Take a look at, um, you know, maybe where, you, where you're wanting to go, okay, in a positive sense. Okay, I was hearing, see it for yourself. I also see with the friendships here, um, there could be somebody that you are good friends with or maybe um, there will be some friends that you're going to be encountering. Maybe somebody that um, understands you, someone that's always by your side. This could be somebody in the physical or spiritual here. So this is like a divine counterpart, a, a union, a connection. And then, like I said, with the abundance card here, this abundance belongs to you. All right. Abundance belongs to you. You are deserving of abundance as well. I was hearing your needs will always be met. But you have to see it for yourself. For some of you, you may go through trials and tribulations, but you can't get caught up in that energy. Exercise your spiritual strength, your emotional strength, your mental strength. And then we have contemplation. So some of you are like, hmm. Let me think some things through. Or maybe you're needing to. Contemplate how just how you may how maybe you want your life to go. All right. Um, what else do we got here? I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna pull these. I'm not gonna pull the tea cards because I'm just gonna leave those out. Let's keep it light. I got my angel oracle deck for you, Pisces. Oh wow. Take back your power. Oh my goodness. Look at that, Pisces. Wow. Okay. We're going to keep it, keep it like that. Okay. Okay. Take back your power, Pisces. You need to take back your power. This says Archangel Raziel. So maybe you need to work with Archangel Raziel. Uh, you know what to do. So you know what to do, Pisces. Okay. This is giving me hermit energy. This is shining light on darkness, sh shining light on the truth, seeing the reality of your situation. Pisces, you need to get outdoors. You need to get some fresh air. Some of you have been cooped up way too long. And then we have breathe. So you need to just breathe. There is a strong energy of just a lot of mental activity, worrying, stressing, focusing on the wrong shit I was hearing. So take back your power. Use your God-given power and intentions to manifest blessings in your life. You know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Outdoors, Archangel Jophio, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Archangel Raphael, take several deep breaths and then exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Okay, releasing those old patterns is key and courage. We have courage here. So you need to have courage. Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. All right. We're going to take a look at the mantras. Pull two cards for Pisces. Two cards for Pisces. Third eye and inner guidance. Third eye and inner guidance. So third eye chakra is your intuition, your insight. So it's uh ajna it says ajna on the bottom of here ajna so it says meeting wisdom location between the brows sound om color indigo symbol two indigo petals rules so it rules the sight senses nervous system pituitary gland the element is space qualities intuition wisdom clarity and vision so Pisces, you need to understand, uh, trust your intuition. A lot of you Pisces are naturally uh, intuitive. So trust your intuition, trust your instincts. The inner guidance is um, Ridaya Mandra. He, Ridaya Mandra, I'm saying, probably saying it wrong. 
So inner guidance. So you need to trust your heart. Trust that you're able to make the right decisions for yourself. So assist. It says insight, self-compassion, safety, benefits, supports heart and respiratory system, releases tension in the chest and ribs, assists the immune system, cultivates trust and inner knowledge, focus. I listen openly, I listen openly and honor the voice of my heart. So you need to follow your heart. The heart chakra is a center of compassion and love, or that's the function, okay? So trust yourself. Do some heart clearing. Some of you are definitely needing to um, do some heart clearing exercises here. All right. So that's the end of your reading, Pisces. God bless.